Saint Augustine, commentary on the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 34 and 35, following. Of such a death it is that the, the Apostle said, For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Colossians chapter 3, verse 3. And perhaps to this also do the words refer, Love is strong as death. Song of Songs, chapter 8, verse 6. For by this love it is brought about that, while still held in the present corruptible body, we die to this world, and our life is hid with Christ in God. Ye, that love itself is our death to the world, and our life with God. For if that is death when the soul quits the body, how can it be other than death when our love quits the world? Such love, therefore, is strong as death. And what is stronger than that which binds the world? Think not then, my brethren, that when the Lord says, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, there is any overlooking of that greater commandment which requires us to love the Lord our God with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our mind. For along with this seeming oversight, the words, that you love one another, appear also as if they had no reference to that second commandment which says, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. For on these two commandments, he says, hang all the law and the prophets. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 40. But both commandments may be found in each of these by those who have good understanding. For, on the one hand, he that loves God can't despise his commandment to love his neighbor, and on the other, he who, in a holy and spiritual way, loves his, his neighbor, what does he love in him but God? That is the love distinguished from all mundane love, which the Lord specially characterized when he added, as I have loved you. For what was it but God that he loved in us? Not because we had him, but in order that we might have him, and that he may lead us on, as I said a little ago, where God is all in all. <clears throat> It is in this way also that the physician is properly said to love the sick, and what is it he loves in them but their health, which at all events he desires to recall, not their sickness which he comes to remove? Let us then also so love one another that, as far as possible, we may by the solicitude of our love be winning one another to have God with us. And this love is bestowed on us by him who said, As I have loved you, that you also love one another. For this very end, therefore, did he love us, that we also should love one another, bestowing this on us by his own love to us, that we should be bound to one another in mutual love, and united together as members by so pleasant a bond should be the body of so mighty a head. By this he adds, Shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one to another? As if he said, Other gifts of mine are possessed in common with you by those who are not mine. <clears throat> not only nature, life, perception, reason, and that safety which is equally the privilege of men and beasts, but also languages, sacraments, prophecy, knowledge, faith, the bestowing of their goods upon the poor, and the giving of their body to the flames, but because destitute of charity, they only tinkle like symbols, they are nothing and by nothing are they profited. 
1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 to 3. It is not then by such gifts of mine, however good, which may be alike possessed by those who are not my disciples, but by this it is that all men shall know that you are my disciples, that you are my disciples, that you have love to one another. O you spouse of Christ, fair among women, O you who ascend in whiteness, leaning upon your beloved, or by his light you are made dazzling to whiteness, by his assistance you are preserved from falling, how well becoming you are, the words in that song of songs, which is, as it were, your bridal chant, that there is love in your delights. Song of Songs, chapter 7, verse 6. This it is that suffers not your soul to perish with the ungodly. It is this that judges your cause, and is strong as death, and is present in your delights. How wonderful is the character of that death which was all but swallowed up in penal sufferings, had it not been over and above absorbed in delights. But here this discourse must now be closed, for we must make a new commencement in dealing with the words that follow.